हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर नताशा एंड यू ऑल आर वेलकम टू माय चैनल फार्मेसी इंटरनेशनल द मेन मोटिव ऑफ टुडेज वीडियो इज टू लेट यू पीपल नो अबाउट दी जॉब्स एंड करियर अपॉर्चुनिटीज आफ्टर फार्म डी आई हैव मेड वन वीडियो वन और टू वीडियोस रिगार्डिंग दी फार्म डी वट आई डिड आफ्टर माई फार्म डी एंड वट ऑल यू कैन से ए टू जेड इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग दी फार्म डी यू कैन विजिट द चैनल एंड कैन get the info about the same but for today's video without wasting any time let's get started to know about the jobs and career opportunities after your farm d number 1 is clinical pharmacist and this is one of the great you can say in demands jobs after doing your farm d what is your basic responsibilities after doing the after going for this particular job that is clinical pharmacist uh, you can say patient care optimize the wellness health as well as disease prevention so you can say on an average being as a clinical pharmacist you have to deal not only with the patients but also with the doctors in order to optimize the patient care as well as prevent some of the diseases by some of the preventive measurements next is self employment you can be a self employer as well Uh, how you can be a self employer easiest way is uh, opening of your own pharmacy either retail or as well as a wholesale pharmacy as well so basically when you are done with your farm d you have to get yourself registered in one of the states pharmacy council in whichever state you have to open your pharmacy and after completion of your state's uh, requirement and all you will get a license and from that particular license you can open your own pharmacy over there next is r&d r&d means research and development and in this r&d basically there are qa and qc qa and qc means quality assurance and qc means quality control what is the main role of qa and qc so basically being as a person of uh, the qa and qc you have to make sure that the products which are going to be manufactured they should be manufactured according to safe and consistent standards okay so basically in short you can say in qa and qc you are going to see the products quality efficacy as well as safety next is medical writer and being as a medical writer what are your job responsibilities so basically for example if you are working as a medical writer in one of the uh, institutes or one of the companies where you have to work for particular journals actually so you have to make the guide you have to find out the guidelines of that particular journal and you have to make your particular document according to that set of standards or that set of guidelines given to you for that particular task so medical writer is actually in demands because nowadays many people are doing their jobs online like work from home and medical writer is one of the jobs which you can do even at your home means you, there is no need to go to the particular office and all obviously there is a need but you cannot say that it is a job which have to be done in the office only you can do this particular job in your home as well let's talk about medical coding so being as a medical coder what you have to do you have to translate some sort of the medical reports into some codes and the codes are given according to the medicinal industry for example you can say icm 10 guidelines next is technical and marketing department of pharmaceutical companies what you can do over there you can be a pharmaceutical advisor over there obviously for being as a pharmaceutical advisor you must have some sort of experiences in your hands and yes later on you can use that particular experience in order to train as well as to give the information about the, your particular training so that you can help the people or the industry to make the scientific development of a product as well as you can help them to improve the products next is drug safety associate and it is the part under the pv that is pharmacovigilance and i can say that most of the people have heard about the pharmacovigilance as it's a wide huge career opportunity nowadays and yes being as a drug safety associate what you have to do you have to make the drug safety and all you have to find out the everything related to drug safety once the drug will be in the market 
नेक्स्ट इज सी आर ए क्लिनिकल रिसर्च एसोसिएट एंड क्लिनिकल रिसर्च एसोसिएट्स कैन वर्क अंडर द क्लिनिकल रिसर्च साइंटिस्ट एंड वट इज द बेसिक रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज ऑफ सी आर एज दे आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कंडक्टिंग एज वेल एज ओवर सींग द क्लिनिकल ट्रायल्स नेक्स्ट इज लेक्चरर यू कैन बी वर्क एज अ लेक्चरर एंड यू कैन ग्रो योर करियर इन द फील्ड ऑफ अकेडमिक्स एंड फॉर बींग द लेक्चरर फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म पी एच डी इज नेसेसरी सो कीप दिस थिंग इन माइंड दैट यू हैव टू डू योर पी एच डी नाउ और लेटर ऑन टू बी द पार्ट ऑफ अकेडमिक्स फॉर होल लाइफ और यू कैन से फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म एक्चुअली सो दीज आर सम ऑफ दी जॉब रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज एंड करियर अपॉर्चुनिटीज विच यू कैन ऑप्ट आफ्टर योर फार्म डी बट This is not a complete list as there are huge number of responsibilities or career opportunities which are waiting for you but yes if you want to grow your career in overseas means in foreign country so here is a good news for you people that i myself is preparing for canadian pharmacy examinations and i have shared some of the videos for the same that how i appeared as well as passed from the india only i haven't went to the canada and yet i passed it and uh, if you want to know about this particular experiences as well as other countries procedures to become a pharmacy over there so you are most welcome to visit the channel at least for once thank you if you have any of the queries related to anything you can ask me in the comment section box or on my instagram as well as facebook page